hello and welcome back to the channel today we are going to discuss how to transfer your files securely transfer your files from your local machine whether from your windows pc or your mac device into a remote server in this case into our s3 bucket okay there are applications such as wins scp which only works on windows as at the time of this recording there is fazela which works both on windows and mac but today we are going to use a software called cyberduck cyberduck works both on windows as well as on mac so let's go ahead go to google and then search for cyberduck you click on the first link that shows up and then you click on download for mac or windows so if you're on windows you choose cyberduck for windows if you're on mac you choose cyberduck for mac so you click on i'm on mac so i click on mac okay i've already down downloaded it so it's available in my downloads folder okay so what i'll do now is to run is to unzip it okay so i move the unzip file into the applications folder okay so it's telling me it already exists so no need for that so i go to applications and then i run my cyber if you are windows you unzip it you click on the executable and then you begin to follow the prompt now our cyber duck has been installed so the next thing is that we need to connect our s3 to cyber duck so you click on this ad over here then we choose our protocol which you are going to choose amazon s3 now you can use sftp but since they have a panel for s3 you're going to choose amazon s3 okay and then we need to generate our access key okay so we now head over to our aws console log into your console and then you go to s3 or you can type it in the search bar s3 so what you are going to do is that you're going to create our bucket first if you haven't watched the full tutorial on how to create s3 bucket the benefits and the features of s3 check out my video on at the top or check in the description box i'll put a link to that so with this one we are just quickly going through to create a bucket okay we are rushing through this is just then you click on create bucket so our bucket is created okay now let's go to create our access key okay so you click on your account here i'm using an im account so click on this you go to security credentials then you scroll down to access keys okay so you click on create access key so you're going to create application running outside aws so you click on next then we give it a name let's say sf sftp access key click on create okay so it's now created our access key for us to be on the safer side let us download first we click on download for it to download the csv file for us so we copy the access key right over here. click on copy then you go to your cyber duck you paste it where we have the access key then you come back to copy the secret key 
don't worry when i'm done i will delete this particular im user so that shouldn't be a problem so copy the secret access key then you paste it in the access key okay so when it's done weirdly it is saved so you just close it then it creates a shortcut in the cyber track uh, window okay so we just need to double click it for it to connect to our s3 so it's requesting for the access key again so we have to just copy it then we come back to it and then we paste it click on login okay so it's giving us access to the bucket we created okay so now it is left onto us to upload the files that you want to upload okay so we we'll do it may be that all your buckets s3 bucket will be listed here okay so we just have to double click our uh, bucket to indicate which where we want to copy our file to okay so we open our folder where we want to okay so we copy this file this music file into our s3 back you just drag and drop into it then you watch it upload depending on the size of the file that will also depend on your internet connectivity that also depends how long it's going to copy so now we have our music file uploaded into our s3 bucket so let's get to our ews console to check in s3 you type s3 you open in another window another tab sorry then we open our bucket and surely our file has been uploaded into our s3 bucket so it works fine on windows and it works fine on mac please if this tutorial has been helpful to you please subscribe to the channel comment and then like our videos see you in the next video